All right, Sunday night, Silver Crown time. So we're at Pocono, racing at Pocono twice in one week. Horrible, but uh, yeah, we'll have a little different race here. We got 14 cars signed up. We'll see if that many race. And uh, just attempt to not be terrible. But I'm being stubborn. I worked on a set for a bit. Uh, got it off the ground because the new damage model with this thing's bottom out now. So I think I got it off the ground. I think it's okay long run when the fuel burns as well. Uh, Lewandowski sent a setup to everyone. I drove it. I didn't like how it felt. So he's going to blast past us later in the race like he always does on that setup. But I'm going to I'm gonna stick with what I sort of know. We've also got a new paint scheme. And uh, I don't This one's just different than what I normally have, but let's uh, take a look at it away from the wall. So, let me turn this off. Painted this one up this morning. And uh, a little bit of a spec map on it as well. Just to uh, add a bit to it. But texture-wise, not a whole lot. It's just two default schemes put together. And we're going with... Uh, some different shades of blue so hopefully that'll bring us some luck because uh, paint scheme is everything don't let the setup shops tell you anything different paint schemes are where the speed is so yeah uh, 30 seconds we'll go to qualifying and I probably should do something with that. Do we want to do anything with it? Pump the tires up. I think I'll just run default. I think... Or not default, but race. I think... Most people will be running just the race... Setup. We're not going to be in the twos unless the track got... Cooler. And I, do, I don't think it did. So, um... I think I can do a 53.4... But we'll we'll find out if that is going to be good enough for a top five. Uh, drafting, sort of a thing. It's not a massive draft like you would think with these, but you do get stuck behind people, and it's really hard to do anything about it. So. Um, the packs will separate, and you don't want to be in the backpack because if it if it goes long, once you get through the field, you're not going to be anywhere near the front of the pack. Bad run through two. Trying to stay out a little wider here. Get the most green flag, green flag. throttle time I can to the line. And one and two is very tricky in this car. It will snap. It will push. Get a little loose there. fairly easy as long as you get it to rotate and then three just don't overdrive it get it down any time spent further out from the yellow line at apex is losing time 539 
little bit quicker and get it down to the bottom here. Just a little slidey out of the corner. I'm going to back the weight jacker up two clicks now for two. Hopefully be able to carry a little more speed through there. Oh, scary. Now I'm going to keep it there for the final turn and hopefully we'll be able to get the power down without getting loose. Little bobble, another little bobble. Gonna lose a couple hundreds. 309, I am happy with that. Especially for race flag. fuel. That should keep us near the top. I am going to go ahead and send Dan. Eh, we'll let him just run what he's comfortable with. He might be running Thomas's, and they're probably all going to be faster than me at the end. The problem with this setup is the way it's designed. Um, we're at max weight jacker to tighten it. So if this thing goes loose, we're in trouble. But I'm hoping that as we drop fuel, it will get tighter and tighter and tighter. And that will be, that'll allow us to not worry about needing to go tighter if the uh, right rear starts to go away. So we're waiting on two people here. No, we're waiting on someone who's not in here. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Only 28 seconds though, because laps around here are pretty long. Even though we're going really quick. It's crazy that this used to be the fastest car on iRacing at one point. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was... It's been an interesting journey. I'm just glad I got an update for once for the new damage model and just did the sprint car. So we'll see how that affects the racing. Uh, hopefully a little bit of contact isn't going to bend the plastic and kill your time. But we are P4. And we'll try to... Yeah, we're not going to... These two are going to be gone. Shane's going to be gone from us. He's been quicker this whole time, as always. But, yeah, we've got to uh, grid up now. And try to not hit the wall. 50 gallons of fuel in. You can see that in the bottom right. This thing eats up the fuel. We're doing 40 laps and we need 50 gallons for that. These are not economy mode. Still waiting on two cars to grid. There's no tight changes allowed during this race. Treat them right and good luck. All right, so already in first, one gear. It used to have two gears because one to get it going, but that was abused massively. You could time. really game the, rest of the, race. One to go. the restarts. You're on the outside this time. And um, one. yeah, once they got dirt racing and got rid of clutches on cars they brought that in but you want to have auto start on when you race these because if you don't have auto start on when you stall it it's it's done
but that's to auto start in my mind is essentially just that is getting a push truck out there and getting you after you spin if you happen to stall the engine or anti-stall I guess is what it should be not auto start But 40 laps, going to be about a 35-minute race if there's no cautions. But we've got more people than I thought we would have in here. Looks like mostly Class A's, so I hope that it's a clean race. But sometimes wide tracks get interesting. People lose track of everyone. The session best up and I think our our goal right now is to manage and stay within the top five and try to just hold on to the lead group green 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 got Brett right behind us. So what Lewandowski does in this car is, I think the start of the race, he's just not balanced right. So he sets things up for the end of the race. So he might be a little bit off early on. And then he'll start flying. I kind of screwed Brett there, but I didn't want to go right up Lewandowski's tank. Dan's got a good run. He's in uh, sixth place right now, so there was some issues on that initial start. Someone's even headed to pit road, so. But I think problem for Brett and Dan, if they are just using the old setup, is it's going to bottom out massively in one and two, and only going to get worse as that fuel burns off the tail end hanging over that rear axle it should drop the nose just a little bit more and that body work is going to start dragging more and more I didn't want to send everyone what I did because I like I have no idea if it's going to work it could go to shit it works now but what's it going to do later Big old draft down the straightaway there. Balance-wise, feel pretty good. We got a little slick down there. With this draft, though, we're uh, able to kind of back it off, not drive as hard through the corners, maybe save some heat. Although, Lewandowski going for a spot already. Looks like Brett is gaining. They haven't lost our draft yet. And it looks like we're all just going to get into a pack here. Shane going for the pass. I'm going to just stay up a lane. Sean goes in really deep on the high side, and that thing did not look like it wanted to turn. But good news is it's getting everyone else up to us. No spotter. The next car was the leader. Yeah, 
bumps down low really unsettle things. I wanted to show Lewandowski that I have no desire to go to his outside. I am just riding at the moment because I know what's going to happen. I've done this race for 15 years, 16 years, however long the Silver Ground's been around. I know I'm going to fall off later. I know Lewandowski's going to go forward. Problem is, when you get out of that draft, you just can't do anything on the straightaway. I think we're going to see Shane if he's paying attention. Using, using it as a tool. Brett just had a moment off the corner there, it looked like. He gets the pass done, and here comes Dan on Brett. Now Shane is doing the snake. He sees the one car starting to fly. Oh, he might be getting a little loose, too. He had a bit of a bounce there. It looked like out of the corner, Shane did, up in the lead. They lost a bit of time back there, especially now that we're all lined up single file right when they got too wide. Balance wise though, I feel really good. Have I lucked out? Sean, not looking too good. He looked a little loose off the corner there. Really drove it in deep into one there. Ooh, Dan got a big push back behind us. We're about to drop them. They're barely getting any draft at this point. Just a sniff of it. Chain's dropping off a bit. I just got a flashback to the Arca race, running fourth. And these guys almost three wide for the lead. And we have dropped them on the draft, but we're also running side by side now, so things could slow down. But yeah, 1.4 now with the nine out front. I think his gearing is bad for starts because he was really slow. But he might have just reacted late. had about the same pace as us in qualifying, but you, know, you can see they're now 1.9 back from us because they've lost the draft. Sean now fighting back for the lead. Big loose there. Shane's gonna get to his outside. We're just gonna ride. I got nothing to gain right now other than entertaining you more by going and getting into this, but I feel like at the moment, I'm just kinda keeping the tires healthy and feeling what this car is gonna do. 
Lewandowski looks like he's checking out. He just had some speed through three. He's a little break here. Oh, they made contact. Here's some entertainment. I wasn't planning on doing that, but they ran into each other and things went sideways. But we're already halfway out of the draft. I gotta try not to overdrive because we can lose more time by trying to overdrive entry and exit and push in more, but we did gain a little through the corner. Massive shove, and he's in the wall. That might be the end of his race. Ooh, we're loose. Lewandowski's so much better through three than we are. I mean, I could move the weight dragger around a bit, but too early for that. We're gonna kind of use it to just keep the tires balanced because we're working the right rear through all the other corners. And then we're working the right front through three. Had to back off early there, that got me out of rhythm. But Shane's still going after that contact. Well, I thought he was eating the wall there. I'm gonna just let him go. He looks quicker than me. Plus I was getting really loose and he was right on our tank. Don't need any contact, we've still got a long ways to go. Not saying Shane would run us over, but if I make a mistake, he might not be able to react in time. Plus, I think he can put some pressure on Lewandowski. Whereas I was just going to sit and ride behind him. Let everyone else do the hard work. Yeah, Sean, 1.8 seconds back. Not dropping as bad as I thought he would after that. but I believe, arrow-wise, he is uh, lost a bit. Shane, 
Lane going for the lead again. We're just going to back off here in case. Kind of gives us an idea for later as well how they're going to react through there if they're side by side. Lewandowski's looser than I thought he would be. He is not racing this as I uh, thought he would, and his car is not doing what I thought it would. Go down and clip the apron because I backed up my entry so much. We do have lap traffic coming up, so that'll be interesting. stupid. Uh, I don't think they would have thought that. What is the double draft like? Can we, just for future reference, I think we could have got a nose there. I don't think I would have been able to make the turn that low on entry. Just feeling it out. I don't think this battle is ending anytime soon. This is probably the most fun I've had in this car at a big track. I mean, it helps that. I'm near the front. Brett's, I think, gained a bit. He's caught Sean's uh, draft and has pulled in the gap to us, I believe. And we are really, really loose. Not getting anywhere near pushing off the corner. If it was five to go, maybe. We're not even to halfway. How long does it take to get this draft? Oh, really long time. Yeah, we gotta be closer than that off of the final turn. Shane's really turning in early and aggressively into one. the corner without having to slow down for him at the exit. Alright, we make it work. Feel it, I feel it. Oh, don't hit that apron chain. Oh! Let him get back in. We probably need to go single file to get around the lap cars anyways. Lewandowski's going to have a bit more pace if he's getting the draft as well. So it's going to look like things are spreading out for a moment. It's only because the lead car now has some draft. Uh-oh. Okay, he's back. He's back with a push. Shane. That guy's slow. Why are you following him? 
Sorry to Taylor, not calling you slow, just getting the fast draft. I don't know if the speed of the car you're drafting has any effect on the draft. All right, so now we got the eight of Zach, and then everything will tighten up again once Lewandowski doesn't have that draft. A little tight on entry there. Outside. Outside, clear. He backs off, lets us all three get around, and now we will tighten up into one. Unless Lewandowski just comes alive. Sean and Brett are together, 2.4 and 2.9 back. Brett has been the same speed as us this whole time. So he's got pace. He just really needs a caution. Fuel-wise, we're really good because I've been lifting off so much. Oh, big tight. Big tight. Okay, we may have to uh, go one click back. Let's take it a lap around at this and see what we feel. Just floaty in one, which I hate. But we're also entering the corner a lot harder than we have just because we're in the draft of someone in the draft. Previously, we had been lifting off for them side by side. Oh, Shane gets the wall. He lifts off. I enter low for the first time. Is it going to stick on exit? It does. Oh, Shane's in the wall again. It looks like it might be bottoming out now. His nose just shot up the track there. And Weight Jacker can have that effect as well on it, so that's why I don't want to make any massive moves. Yep, Lewandowski just twice as fast through three than I am. We can't lose this draft. Okay, and one. We're entering too harder, but I don't think it did anything for us. I've just gotta, I gotta watch his. It's like he doesn't even have to slow down. I had to hit the brakes to get it down there. He's going to check out. It's the same race I've ran over and over and over. Lewandowski gets quicker and quicker the closer you get to the end of the race. This is why I've got to take breaks from series. Just because I've seen it. I've done it. I know what's coming.
I just got to keep it out of the wall and be happy with my second place. Alrighty, slowing down a lot more on entry than I am. And then I got a snap there. I'm going to go back on that Wayjacker and just drive within that for a second and see. Because I've been losing the rear end way too much. One point eight behind, so Shane does not have our draft. He might be getting a tiny bit, but it's not gonna pull him up. And he'll eventually fade out of it, but what happens when we fade out of Lewandowski's draft? Point seven. Try that middle line there just because it's closer to the wall, and I feel like I would uh, slam it. All right, I'm gonna go aggressive on the way jacker through two. We'll try it through three. Don't slam on throttle. Held at point seven that time, but I can feel him pulling away down this straightaway. Let's go two more clicks on the weight jacker, just see what it does. Try this higher line since we'll be looser. Let's see what last lap shows us. Now that we're playing around, we're never gonna get back to the fast laps, so. Got to judge it off last lap. Okay, point seven still. Two more clicks. Okay, we got through there really good. Caught the apron a bit. That was a terrible entry. I was trying something and then decided not to, and now we're back to point seven. Two more clicks. If two is good, more is better. Nope, that was too far. Slipped the rear end out bad on the exit. Holy shit, really tight on entry there. But we gained, we're back to point six. Final corner there for us. Okay, 
Okay. A little better through there. Running out of laps. Seven to go at the line. One click more. Weight jacker through two. Hello. Ease it around, ease it off the corner. All right, one click back, not back, but positive on the weight jacker, which is gonna tighten it up just so that we can get through one again. Click negative, loosen it up. He's feeling the pressure. He tried a little harder through there. He got much closer to the yellow line than he had been. All right, positive. Not looking at him, looking at the road ahead. Back one click negative. Not feeling it through two, but oh, I got a massive shove. All right, we got to go more aggressive and two now on that weight jacker. It's like we got some dirty air or something. I'm not even sure that's a thing in this, but it felt like it. All right, we're back to point four. Rotate the car with throttle. All right, two clicks this time. Hey, looks what happens when you don't have to slow down for the wall. that throttle to help rotate it right in the center but try not to get too much of it on exit all right one click back even though I went two clicks I'm gonna try a little looser in one I'm sniffing it I'm getting a taste of it all right one click, point two, three to go at the line. A little tight. Go more loose. A little brake drag there just at the apex because it was pushing up lap car but hopefully yeah we won't get to him Ooh, it's loose down there but it's faster high I wasn't sure what was gonna happen with his entry there now I got a better idea for the next two laps
problem is he's just a little better off a three, although he got a big wobble that time. It's not time yet. I don't think we go for it here. I think if we go for it, it's into two if we can get the run off of one or out of two and into three. And it's definitely not this lap. Leaning back so hard, I'm breaking my chair. Oh, big wobble. Here we go. We're going to get a big draft down this straight. But I don't want to go to his inside because it's just going to kill our exit off of the corner. Where I feel like we're better than him in this corner. Until I do that. I think I gotta go. Outside sucks though through three. I'm sideways. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what an awesome race. What an awesome race. Holy shit. Woo! I don't even care that we didn't win that. That was fucking awesome. I didn't think I had a chance. I never have a chance with him on tracks like these. <laughs> Holy shit, that was awesome. Wow, what a race. What a race. I clawed that shit back from so far back. I don't know if maybe he was just slowing down to make it a good video, but 90-78. 90-78. We were using up the right rear. Holy shit. He was 92.75. Okay. <laughs> what was the finish on that? What what were... Uh, if I hit the right button. 0 0.039. Damn. Alright, we gotta go watch the last lap. See what I can learn. Going here would have just killed me. I couldn't go there. My, I had to get him to the high side out of two so that he would be on the high side out of three. That bobble, that kind of screwed us over. But we still got there. He gave us the space. And then we're both just chucking it, but I'm just slamming on the throttle. We get a terrible exit, but I'm going to throw it in there. And he knows I'm going to throw it in there. Even though he's clear right now, we drive it in really deep. He gets a good run on the outside. I am just slamming and counter-steering and trying everything. But, yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff after 40 laps. That was... That was great. That was a fun one. All right, let's see what happened out there. Wall hits and car hits. Robert tries to go full throttle through there. Does not work. Zach blinks out. Sean, we saw this in our mirror. Into the wall, front end damage. So that front end damage is still there. It kind of just knocks it crooked now. And uh, that just kills the arrow. And yeah, just some blinking. So I want to go see the three wide. When did that happen?
happened here. So yeah, Shane's doing that early turn in, which is screwing up his center. But then he gets a good run off the corner, and Sean gets the wiggles, and Shane tries to cut under him. Misjudges. They make contact. I'm going three wide up the middle. We take over second. Not as close as I thought it was, but yeah. And then we run the high side there. But what an awesome race. I love this car. I It should get so many more people driving it because it is so much fun. Um... But people, I don't know, just because it's low participation, they don't want to get it. I really wish iRacing would make it free, but maybe it's so good because the idiots don't have it and don't want to pay for it. Could be. Um, 37 I rating, 40 laps, zero incidents, and uh, an awesome, awesome race. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.